Uh, hey, Ian, can you come over here? <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from England and visiting Colin Furs and I had an absolute blast. If you haven't seen the video yet, check it out. And if you're curious about the other stuff I did while I was in England, check out my Facebook page or Instagram for some of the photos. I saw a whole lot of castles. So the Captain America Shield giveaway ends next week, so in the next vlog we'll be announcing the winner, which means you have one more week to enter the contest. If you haven't entered the contest yet, check out the original video in order to enter. So Ian's back from his honeymoon now, which means we're both back in the shop, and we're going to start working full throttle on the Iron Man flight project. We're waiting for a few parts to come in, which I believe are supposed to be delivered tomorrow according to the tracking info, so we're hoping to have our update next week. But in the meantime, we've done quite a few interesting tests, such as the thrust testing jig that we made for figuring out how we can optimize these EDFs for the flight project. But more on that later. So since it's almost October, we're starting to think about Halloween. And we're planning on throwing a pretty big party at the Inventorium, which means what kind of costume should I wear? In the comments, let us know what you think we should do and maybe what Make It Real project we should do with it. As you know, we've been working on increasing our video production quality, and we're happy to announce we just got a DJI Phantom 4, which means we're going to be able to film some really awesome stuff when we're doing projects outside. We got this from GearBest.com, which has some of the best prices for the Phantom 4. Let's go test it out. Alright, so we're going to do a quick weight test with the DJI Phantom. I believe it specifies how much weight you can pick up, but it's cooler to test it, obviously. It might crash. Huh? Nice. Alright, so to test the resilience of the Phantom 4, we're going to try blasting out of the sky using part of our Iron Man flight project. Let's see how it stands up. That's pretty good. So we're here at a little uh, mountain bike course, and we're going to see what this thing can do, because this the DJI Phantom 4 has object tracking. So we can literally select on the screen what we want to track, and in this case, we're going to track Ian on his bike. Let's see how it goes. Now, one of the things I like about the DJI Phantom is it's very easy to use. It's got this cool clip system for the props, so you can easily replace them at any time, and it comes with a bunch of spares, too. All right, so we're all set up, and we're streaming the HD footage to the phone right now. Let's take off. <laughs> so first we're going to fly the uh, drone up into the air, Ian's going to get on his bike and we're going to see how well it can follow him. So as you can see in the video, it keeps crosshairs on Ian and keeps pretty good track of him as he goes around the mountain bike course. Now you need, do need to get pretty high up with the drone in order to fall. Uh-oh. Flying in a Class C airspace. So the track feature works pretty good. You do have to keep the quad pretty high in the air. And sometimes it will lose you if you're going really fast. And obviously the background of where you're going has an effect on it too. So if you're following, say, him just in a field or on a plain colored surface, it will work much better. But that being said, it still worked pretty good for this course and it's going to be pretty awesome for some of our future projects involving some more high-speed vehicles and potentially flight. All right, now for a quick update on the flight project. So as you can see, we've actually built a thrust test jig, and it's actually very simple. We're just using a digital luggage scale. So basically, once you hook up power to the EDF, it pushes that way, and you see exactly how much thrust is producing, which means we're going to be able to test various things like building a thrust tube off the back, which can increase thrust, as well as various uh, inlets on the other side because you can actually increase the thrust up to about 20% or so, at least that's what we've read so far. If any of you guys are experts with EDFs, please let us know in the comments because we could use some help. Anyways, more on that in the actual update. What we've also done 
is started making the boot. So as you can see, it's a normal motorcycle boot, plus we have the EDF off the back. And the EDFs we're planning on using will put out 8 kilograms. Uh, we're looking into another one that can do 12 kilograms. So that'll be pretty neat because basically wearing these boots, you'll be able to reduce your weight by almost 50 pounds. In addition to that, we have finished printing the arm pieces. So as you can see, with two of these, you'll be able to have Iron Man-esque flight control by using your arms. Now, obviously we're not going to be able to get enough thrust from just these EDFs, but there's a chance that we could mount up to two off of each arm and limb, which then gets us pretty close. So stay tuned for the flight update. It should be sometime next week. And don't forget to sign up for that Captain America Shield giveaway because we will be announcing the winners next week. So that means you have one week left to enter. And don't forget to leave us a comment in the description on what you think I should be for Halloween. Uh, we need costume ideas and potentially make it real idea to go with the costume. Finally, don't forget to check out GearBest.com to buy your own DJI Phantom 4. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so we actually went to an auction a few days ago and we picked up some awesome stuff really cheap. We got a picnic table for $2, a rain barrel for 3 and some old fire extinguishers for uh, $8 together. Now, the little one's empty, uh, gauge, is, gauge is at zero, but this big one doesn't actually have a gauge on it, so it's kind of heavy and we're not too sure if it has anything left in it. So uh, yeah, this uh, fire extinguisher was last inspected in 2007. Uh, hey Ian, you come over here. Uh, so it's not fair for me to just sh shoot Ian and not have any uh, recourse, so... <laughs> That's cold. That's dry ice right there. Do you think they could design a better clip?